Let's add a printer into Active Directory in Windows Server 2019. So if we go to Tools and Server Manager, Active Directory Users and Computers, we have the option to add in a new printer. So if we right click on the domain or any OU and click New, we have the option to add in printer. And we see it's asking us for the network path to the share name of this particular printer. So if, for instance, we had a share path of DC1, which is the name of the server, backslash, and then whatever the printer share name is. But there's an easier and better way to do this because you may not be aware of all of the different share names that you have. So if we go into another utility, back to tools again, we can go to something called print management. And inside print management, it's going to give us a list of all of our deployed printers. So we see in here we have an HP shared printer, and it looks like it is ready to go. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and, and check a box under the HP shared properties, and that will automatically add it into Active Directory users and computers and make it searchable. So if I click on sharing, all I have to do is click on list in the directory and then I'll be able to find it. So I'll click OK. We'll go back to Active Directory Users and Computers, and I'm going to right click on my domain, and I'll choose Find. And now I'm gonna change the Find to Printers, and click Find Now, and there it is. There's my HP Shared Printer that wouldn't otherwise be there if we didn't check that box. So now we're logged into a client that is a member of the domain. And we're going to go into Control Panel. And now we'll make sure that we can search for that printer. So we'll go to Devices and Printers. And now we'll click on Add a Printer. So now what it's going to do is it's going to look for a device or a printer it can add. And look at that. It found the one listed in our Active Directory by default. So any one of those that are in the directory you're going to see show up. And you can just simply install it that way or push it out through a group policy. So that's how we add a printer into Active Directory.